All right, we made it to Puerto Limon, Costa Rica. Uh, this is actually our first time exploring Costa Rica, so uh, I've hopped off the ship here and I'm gonna walk around town and just kind of explore on my own. When you first get off the ship, uh, you'll see kind of the shops area there. You can do some shopping there if you don't really want to do much. You can do that there. It's kind of in a secure area before you leave the uh, port area, the guarded port area. And then you step out from there. Once you step out from there, you will see lots of vendors for tours and different things right there. Also, you can grab a taxi there or just cross the street and explore the city on your own. Alright, so stopped in a little restaurant. I looked all around town, but honestly, usually the restaurants right near the port are not the greatest, but I came into this one and it's actually really quite lovely. The people in here are beautiful, um, and I just asked her for a suggestion what she thought I could have for breakfast, and so this is what we're having. So it's a black, it's black beans and rice with cheese and a fried egg and some fried uh, ripe plantains. They're called platano maduros. And so I'm gonna dig in here and enjoy this. You guys can watch me eat it, I guess. Mm, this is so good. This cheese is really good. It's nice and salty. Mm. There's a beautiful park here, so I'm going to walk around here as I get to the other side of the city.
right, so we've got an empanada, a special kind from here, and in yucada, which is like yuca with some meat inside, and the special uh, empanada from here has meat and um, just a special way that they make it, and then, of course, some cold drinks because it's really warm out. All right, this is the special one with beef inside, so I've never had one like this. It's very good. It's like it's flat on the bottom, which is different for an empanada. And the top is rounded, so it's kind of crispy. Like it's crispier than a regular empanada, which is really good. So I came over here to the park and I'm gonna try these out. This one is the yuca, which is like a root vegetable and it's got meat inside. Let's try it out. Mm. Mm. That's actually really good. Mm -hmm. So it looks like they don't really mash it. They just kind of open it and put the meat inside. That was good. Mm. Okay, that empanada had a little bit of a kick to it. <laughs> So a good thing we bought a drink, but uh, the name of the, the store, the restaurant was Soda El Cafe, and it's real close to the port. And for all the food and drinks, we paid eight US dollars. We just paid in dollars. She was happy to take that. So if you want to get off the ship and get a nice little lunch or dinner, that is definitely a recommended place to do it. All right, so had a good time walking around here in Limon, Puerto Limon. Um, got off the ship easily, got to the place back here where you can buy some merchandise. I walked around town, met a few of the locals, and had something to eat. I'll wrap this up for you a little bit up in the ship here, but it has been a really nice morning. All right, so as you saw, this is a pretty easy port to kind of do on your own. Um, you just, you know, get off and choose your adventure. There's people, vendors, right outside the ship when you get off um, to take you to all different kinds of things. Prices are generally in US dollars. You can pay as little as like 30 US dollars to have them take you to the sloth forest or take you really on any adventure, take you to the beach, take you to the rainforest, all kinds of things. You get to choose. You decide you know just check out the prices they've got them right there for you basically or just walk around town like we did and just kind of explore on your own and see what the town has to offer meet a couple of locals i met a few uh girls in town that was a, a fun time as well and then of course eat some of the local food so that's pretty much the report here from puerto limon costa rica hope you guys enjoyed that do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Ask me some questions below if you've got them, and we'll see you at the next port.